are taking this dredge upstream where the gold is better. I'm already seeing a lot of gold. Nice oh, gold right here. Holy cow. Spot on, Paulie. I'm so excited. Good morning or good afternoon everyone. Welcome if you're new here. My name is Polly. As you can see, there is our mini dredge that we left there overnight. And if you didn't see last week's video, we didn't find too much gold. But since then, I figured out that the best gold will be upstream. And I'm not gonna tell you how I found that out. Tell us where they are. We know you know where they are. If you don't tell us, we're gonna hurt you real bad. <laughs> <laughs> now this is gonna hurt really bad. So without further ado, let's find some more gold. I had no choice but to drag this little dredge upstream, which was a lot more difficult than I thought. Instead of starting my day underwater, I wanted to work this crevice I saw and drag all the material down to where I could suck it up. And since I'm using what's called a Venturi nozzle, I'm able to work in much shallower water and sometimes out of the water because the water flow doesn't get interrupted by air like it would if using a traditional nozzle. Like I mentioned in my last video, there is not a lot of, I guess, engaging shots you can do when dredging. It's all the same shots, maybe, unless you're cleaning out the sluice box. But either way, if you enjoy these videos, please hit subscribe and that bell notification so you don't miss a future upload. Now, when you're dredging, the key is volume. The more material you can get up that nozzle, the more gold you will end up with. However, it is much easier said than done. I'm still learning, but I was way better than I was last week. Something else that's easier said than done is creating an engaging thumbnail for the video. Here I'm attempting to set up the camera for a perfect shot of me with the dredge, but it was too dark, I was out of frame, and it just won't cut it. What was super frustrating was that 90% of the rocks here are just the perfect size to get stuck in the nozzle. I'm slowly getting better, I'm, I'll figure it out. I spotted this shallow crevice that was packed with gravel, so I scraped everything loose and sucked up what I could. I'm hoping to find a nugget somewhere in here. The shallower you work, the harder it is to see, especially with this light material where it just turns into smoke. I ended up changing spots for a little bit just to see if I could find an area that had more visible gold like we found last week. I noticed a bit of clay around the shallow area of bedrock, so let's give that a shot. I like rocks. I like vacuuming rocks. Okay, so having a quick break here. I didn't do much filming again because it's kind of hard to film, but look at that hole. I just ate into the sand there. I didn't see any gold because it was too cloudy to really tell. And then I went over here and creviced all this, and then I dredged it out. Still didn't see any gold, but let's see what's in the dredge. You might not still be able to see the gold in here. Ugh. Just just yet but uh oh <laughs> yeah there will be gold in here but all that material right there you shouldn't see this end should be weighed down a little bit more to uh, make it more even but 
I don't think we're gonna see any gold. You know, I don't even wanna disturb it. Um, I'm just gonna go downstream to grab the bucket and gold pan and then I'm gonna clean this out and see if we beat yesterday's first try. So instead of walking all the way down the river and all the way back up, I got Rex to drive me, which was super cool of him. I like cheese. So I think this is gonna be our best cleanup so far in the few days that I've been here because I'm already seeing a lot of gold as I pan, which hasn't happened already. And I was actually seeing a lot of gold sitting on the clay when I first got here. So hopefully this will be your best pan and we still have another gas tank to go, number two. So with any luck, we'll have the same amount of gold on our second tank. So all together, today will be probably our best day. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, we have a lot of gold showing up so far. So this pan is taking a really long time because I'm being extra careful because every couple dippy dippies that I do, uh, I start to see gold show up. I'm also being attacked by sand flies. But yeah, we're getting closer. Okay, moment of tooth. I already know there's gonna be more gold in here than I have been finding. There's so much black sand. Oh yeah. All right, look at that. Yeah, ha <laughs> ha. Way better. Mm. I'm happy with that. I'd say it's probably, I don't know, half a gram or something, but hey, that's only one tank. Oh my God, these flies are relentless. That's only one tank and we have another one to go for today. Yeah, I'm gonna get, see if I can get this all cleaned up a little better for you guys to show, and then, then we'll continue. So there you have it. <laughs> Our first tank done. That's not bad. So I imagine I got that gold right here. And there's a little pocket in there. That's where I started seeing it. Or quite possibly right here. But I didn't see anything because it was too cloudy. And my phone turned off. So I just kept working. It doesn't look like a lot of work to dredge with this mini dredge, and that's because it's not a lot of work. It's actually more work to move the thing around and make sure I remember to take enough footage. So with that being said, here we are again, doing my best to make sure I don't get another rock jam. So I just spent about half an hour building this little dam here to slow down the water so I could work at that better spot. And right away, I'm already seeing a lot of gold and it's stuck on clay, which is really nice to see. It's gonna be hard to film underwater, but I'll do my best to show you what I'm doing. So right here is the deepest I'm able to go with this dredge because I'm not able to hold my breath underwater with this setup. And my gills are covered up by my wetsuit, of course. Any material I don't get, however, will be sucked up by Rex and Darren when they bring up the Supermax dredge. Um, nom, 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 nom. The technique I'm using here is what I call the no technique technique, where you're not using any technique, but rather just jamming the nozzle in the gravel. What I should be doing is removing the big rocks first, like you saw Darren do in last week's video, and then suck up the smaller material in layers. That way it's easier to work and there's less of a mess. Well, you know, it's absolutely fantastic having Paulie up here helping us find these little spots that we just haven't had a chance to find. So he's been rocking up around this area here. He's actually found some really nice gold, so 
Spot on, Paulie. All right, so I just finished our second few, uh, <coughs> finished our second tank. I think I found a lot more gold than yesterday just because I was consistently seeing it today. So Rex and Darren just showed up. How you guys doing? Yeah, not too bad, mate, not too bad. Not too bad? I heard that you're getting pretty sore now. Yeah, a bit achy today. <laughs> a little achy? Yeah. I'm hoping I found more than them. I don't know, but uh, we'll see. <laughs> My voice is cracked. All right. Okay, so uh, I ran out of gas clearly, otherwise I would have let it run and run all the gravels through, but uh, we're pretty piled up, so what I'm gonna do is just put this all in the tote, put it in the pan, and see how many ounces we got. So uh, before I clean it out, we're just gonna run it and then let all the material go off for a bit, then we'll clean it. I ran out of gas, so I wasn't able to uh, do this part. <laughs> You're helping me out. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, it's going right here. Yeah, boy, you guys are the pros. So this is the part where you drain all the material into a bucket. Normally this is done on the shore, but the way I have this dredge tied in, it's best just to do it from where it is. Also, this green mat is supposed to be removed when you're cleaning it, but just like the last video, we still didn't loosen up those bolts before I started, so we're doing it the hard way. I have to do that this morning. So there is still a little bit of gold underneath that <laughs> sand flies. There is still some gold underneath that green mat, but we can't quite get it yet until we find a screwdriver, which we'll probably do at the shack. I'm so excited. Very excited. Very excited. Very excited. <laughs> Very exciting. <laughs> yeah. There. Now the time consuming part, where we find out if we have black sand or not. Well there's the legend Darren just sitting the dredge back up again for Paulie. <laughs> what do you think of the little two inch mate? It's not too bad for a little one. It's not bad at all eh? Great little test dredge. Yeah, something like a usual on 75. <laughs> How you doing bud? See any gold yet? Yeah. Oh let me step down here and have a look. Put in point one if you want. It's got a bit of color over See, there. Oh, right there. there. Yeah. Right there. Oh, yeah. very nice, oh, mate. Edge. Oh my goodness. Just oh, look at that. I found a rock. 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 Holy found another rock. Time to see much, buddy. Yep, yeah, getting better and better. A lot of black sand in there. Oh, look at that. There it is on oh, the front the... edge. Yeah. Very nice. A moment of tooth. All right, look at the gold. Oh, look at that. <laughs> nice, mate. Nice. Cool. Sweet. There's obviously more gold down here in the black sands, but uh, let me just do uh, a better cleanup for you guys. Two tanks today, I'm actually feeling pretty tired, but uh, there's still daylight, so I'm excited. So this is what we got in two, t <laughs> in two tanks. We got two nice garnets and a bunch of yellow shiny stuff, whatever that is. So there you have it. Two tanks of gas for this much gold. Um, it is more gold than I have been finding, so we will weigh this up and see how much it is. A Boyd. <laughs> so right now I'm just drying the gold as you can see right here. Looks nice and good next to the wood. Ha! They're, they rhymed, Rex. They might be very nice. <laughs> as soon as it's done drying, we will weigh it 12 ounces, right? 12 pounds. Okay, ready to weigh all this candy. Uh, two grams. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> oh, bang on, two grams, okay. Not bad. Thank you so much if you made it this far. I have plenty more videos to come, but in the meantime, check out these videos if you want some good luck.